guys welcome back to another video it's your favorite baby girl wit if this is your first time stumbling upon any one of my videos thank you so much for clicking on my face i hope you enjoy the vibe here and if you do please make sure to subscribe i will leave all my links so we could become friends down below hit me up on instagram on instagram i post reels i post my sense of the day i also post other creators so that we can all look on each other and i love going on to this instagram page to just get my fix on fragrances luxury items and it all fashion i love it over there and yeah join me follow me so you guys can see all of that as well today as you guys have already read from that title we're gonna be talking about antonio croce i love these fragrances guys and i've had these fragrances in my collection i want to say for a year now with no further ado with no time wasted no time wasted we are going to get into it we have three um, as you guys can tell, this one is my favorite. <laughs> I've been spraying, like for it to have a dent like this, I love this color, I love this ombre, I love this juice. I just love what it's hitting for. The bottles are beautiful. The presentation as well is absolutely gorgeous. Like come on, the black boxes with the way the fragrances sit inside is gorge, I love. You guys can shop these fragrances from So Avant Garde. You guys already know how much I love So Avant Garde, how I mess with them amazing customer service um so many of you guys have told me how fast your items came i love that use my promo code as well there's a whole bunch of items you guys can use my promo code on on the website there's parfums de marley there's bdk parfums there's fragrance dubois there's a whole bunch of stuff you guys can indulge in so make sure you guys give them a check out and also they also have samples so don't blind buy sample as well the brand was born in 2002 off of a dream to give women garments that are able to enhance their femininity with accurate details and perfect shapes all the whole bottle shape and design is just it it's so beautiful i don't even know if it's coming up properly on camera it is gorgeous i'm addicted to unica I love it, okay? Some of the top notes are raspberry, black currant, pink pepper, and saffron. When I first spray it, I do get saffron. And I get some spicy kick, so I'm guessing that's the pink pepper. Some of the middle notes are rose, jasmine, and peony. Then the base note. The base notes is where I fall in love, okay? The base notes is just what makes this my favorite. I love all of them in the line, but this is a five. This is five stars. So in the base, we have vanilla, we have oud, we have patchouli, myrrh. I love it, okay? This is that oud that you can get into and be extremely happy. This is not a dangerous oud. This is not... I'm risking it all. This is such a sexy, seductive oud, and that is why this is a five out of five for me. I don't really even see people talk about this brand, so when I wear this, I know I'm standing out. The longevity on this, amazing. This is a whole eight hour day. This is you going to work and coming back and still smelling fresh and nice. I really, really enjoy this one. I know once, before this is even finished, I have to get a backup bottle because this stuff right here, love. The next one we have is Sofisticata. Um, I wore this the other day and I actually didn't think it was going to be this heavy. It's very powdery. I am very funny with powdery scents. Usually with powdery scents, I try to sweeten them up. This is really, really powdery, but it's good to the extent that it lasts all day and it's beast mode. I like that for this fragrance. It really was beast mode and it lasted all day. I'm going to share some of the notes with you guys. The top notes is lemon and aquatic notes. Um, in the top, I don't necessarily get um like lemon i get the aquatic notes in the middle there's rose caramel sugar and white florals in the middle i get the sweetness but that rose and that floral aspect at this point takes over the whole entire fragrance it is definitely one that is for like a bride a sophisticated situation like the name suggests um if i was supposed to be going to an intimate like brunch this is it i love this one for that but this is one that i would wear for a specific time specific place it's one of those that is definitely not something i'm gonna reach for a lot because i feel like i have to look really elegant when wearing this and that's just me you can wear fragrance the way you want but for me i feel as though i would have to look really elegant look really put together look really neat to wear this this is such a neat one 
and for me fragrance is also the memories that i have with it so when i'm when i smell this i would want to go back to those memories of an elegant time like a 50th birthday party a bridal party something like that that's what i would want to like save this and hold this for um but you wear your fragrances the way you want in the base we have vanilla tonka bean precious woods white musk like i said it's just a powdery flower rose floral bomb in my opinion there is a comforting factor in this fragrance very very comforting it's something that reminds me of my childhood just not sure but that's what this one definitely gives me let's move on to the next one the next one we have is actually Ardenti. Ardenti is a showstopper. Ardenti is one that, if you know someone that is like nosy, this is Ardenti. When I wear this, it starts so many conversations and it's happened time after time without fail. It starts so many conversations that people just happen to ask me like, what are you wearing? Okay, so we have soft chocolate covered notes with this one. We have tonka bean. We have like fine wood. Um, This is one that <laughs> every single time best believe you're gonna hear excuse me miss excuse me miss one of those excuse me miss fragrances that's what this one is the longevity on all of these is amazing um the projection as well is good for the, about the first two and a half hours the sillage is absolutely all day if i spray this and i'm in the car and i hop out and come back into the car it is still such a strong aroma which i enjoy um the top notes are black pepper grapefruit rhubarb and blood orange the middle notes are a blend of flowers and fruity notes. I get a lot of fruity notes in this fragrance. I love to mix this with Celia from Tiziana Terenzi. This summer it was just my jam. Like it's just one of the go-to mixes that I had and I really just enjoyed it. The base notes is vanilla, tonka bean, woody notes, and musk. And this is another just one of those five out of five fragrances for me. The fact that I don't hear enough people talk about this, I really needed to get this onto the channel. I had shared this with, I think, one of my subscribers and I'm like, if you're looking for something new that I'm feeling right now that I think you should get, I definitely think it's this one because I think this one is very safe. I would recommend the one with the oud even though it's not a hard or harsh oud, but this one is just a safe get around. And this one, it's not like this one is not safe, it's just that if you're not really a floral heavy person it might be a lot for you but these are the fragrances that i have in my collection i actually want to even like build up and get some more and when i do i'll also bring it onto the channel and you know share it with you guys but unica has my heart has my heart i love it so much i use it all the time i add it in my layers this one definitely a conversation piece definitely going to be noticed and this one is just for my elegant occasions a party a nice little flex looking really good looking really put together like thought about the outfit this is the fragrance for it I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed the vibe here. If you are new, if you did, make sure to subscribe. Don't leave without subscribing. Maybe I'll be a little nice, okay? Watch another one of my videos to really figure out if you enjoy the vibe here, okay? No force, no pressure, but please make sure you do it if you enjoy the vibe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you've ever gotten your nose on any one of these fragrances or even heard of this brand i would love to know let me know what you're loving on right now in your collection too i'm loving on my collection i'm pulling out fragrances i haven't used in such a while mixing i'm getting so many mixes together make sure you follow me on instagram i will be sharing some of my mixes over there until my next video mwah. bye guys